I just found a brand new AI browser that's gonna change everything because it doesn't just search or chat. It actually thinks, acts, and executes tasks that these other browsers simply can't. Because instead of just being an AI browser like Comet or ChatGPT Atlas, this is way more agentic. What does that mean? That it actually acts and executes instead of just thinking and chatting. For example, this person just used it to win over a thousand dollars playing online poker with zero human intervention. By the end of this video, you're gonna see exactly how this thing works, how it's completely different than any other AI browser that you've used, and how it's already automating full workflows for creators, marketers, founders, employees, and every use case you could think of. Now that brand new AI browser that I'm talking about is called Floweth. Now to emphasize immediately for you how this is better than ChatGPT Atlas and Comet Browser, I wanted to show you this right here. So we get to ask us to please use script use to go through and crawl LinkedIn in order to find a specific job post. And we could see that we have this specified for from the past month and at least 100 positions. And we could see that this is now going through, taking over my screen, going through, actually doing this, and then it's going to present all of this as a web page for us. And the reason that this is crazy is because I literally tried to get Comet to do this and I tried to get Atlas to do this with only 10 things and they weren't able to do it, but this one is gonna do it for at least 100 positions right here. Check this out. Now, while this is going through and doing this, I wanted to show you that we can actually come over here and we can open up other tabs here in order to do other things. So we have this going through and automating that in one tab, but on the other tabs, we could go through and do other things. And if you come over here, you're gonna be able to see all the different things that you could do here. For example, you could come into this task bar right here where you could see all of your tasks that are completed, all of them that are archived, all of them that are in progress. We could come over here into flow where you could actually see all the different chats that you've had. This is basically your chat history here. If we come over here into bookmark, we could see all the different things that we've gone through in bookmark where we could save or store tabs. For example, if I come to YouTube every day, I could come over here and I could add that in. Or if I go to a specific tab to check the news, I could add that in here. And then if we come over here into intelligence, we could see that this is where you can go through and you can create new skills. You could come through, you could create new memories, or you could upload knowledge base or something that's coming soon is that you're going to be able to upload knowledge base in here so that it has that knowledge across the entire browsing experience. So now if we come over here, we could see exactly what this looks like. This went through, this found a hundred different jobs at 50 unique companies and then put in the job title, the company and the URL. And we could see, we could scroll through this. Now we have a hundred different jobs that we can look at. And if we scroll all the way down, we'll see that this just keeps going and keeps going, which is pretty awesome. Now from here, we could get this to go through and actually apply to these jobs if we wanted to with another agent. Now, in addition to that, we could come over here and we could just browse like normal. For example, I'm going to come over here. I'm going to type in YouTube and we could see that this is going to bring up just a regular browser and we could come over to YouTube right here. Now, on top of that, if we come over to the bottom right hand side right here, we could see that this agent is still running or we could come over here and we can ask Neo OS agent in order to do things on whatever web page that we're actually on. And we could see that we could come over here and we could see that this has a fast mode, which is going to go through and finish tasks as fast as possible and it's not going to use either skills or memory or pro mode which is highest quality basically this is step-by-step -step visual analysis with deep reasoning and it also has access to both skills and memories which is what we're using for that other use case that I just showed you in addition to that you could see that there are tons of different presets that we can actually go through here for example complete holiday overhaul and we could go through and actually look at what this looks like or if you have your own presets you want to create you could just click right here, add them in, and we could even choose a color here, which makes this incredibly useful. In addition to that, we could come over here and see the agent's action history, or if we wanted to upload something like a PDF, a document, a CSV, you could do that right here. Now, before I show you three crazy use cases for this, I wanted to remind you that you could go to the pinned comment below and get started with Flow With today for yourself. Because if you're ready to experience what true autonomy feels like inside of a browser, you're gonna wanna use this tool because it's way better than ChatGPT Atlas or Comet Browser and automating things. Now, the first use case that I wanted to show off here is if we come over here, let's say to this GitHub right here, we could have this actually take action for us. So we're gonna come over here and we're going to ask this to save the project here to our desk desktop and then open up the HTML file to actually display this on the web page. Because personally, I don't know what to do with one of these GitHub pages, but I want to be able to play this game right here. So I'm going to come over here. I'm going to insert this prompt and this is going to go through and this is actually going to complete this for me. So 
So we could see that the agent actually takes over my screen right here. We could see that it scrolls up, it finds a code button, it goes through to get the repository URL, and we could see all the different steps and all the different actions that it's taken here. And I want you to think about this. We are like a few seconds into this. This already taken six actions, which is way more than something like Comet or Atlas would have. And we could see that this is actually going through, opening up terminal right here, and this is going through and this is actually going to take this and this is going to clone this. My hands are off the keyboard. All of this is happening automatically right now. Okay, so hands-free, it looks like it's gone through. It's done all of this. We could see in the bottom right-hand corner right now that this is just verifying that the game has loaded correctly and then it's going to show me it straight in my browser. Just like that, we just click on this right here and we could see that we have the game here and we could go through and play it right here and this works perfectly right here in the browser, which is absolutely insane that this was able to actually do this. Now, if you're like most people, after watching that tutorial, you're probably thinking to yourself, Rob, is this safe to do? And I wanted to show you right here that this is 100% local storage and privacy protection. Your agent, execution history, your browsing history, your memories, your skills, your account credentials, all of that is stored 100% locally on your device and nothing is synced to a cloud server. Now at this point, you've seen how powerful this is, how quick it is, how many steps it can take, how it can take actions on your computer. And this is what true autonomy actually looks like. I mean, think about it. We just got it to go through LinkedIn and get 100 different jobs. We got it to download something from GitHub onto our local computer and then display it in the browser. And none of this took any human intervention. And guess what? ChatGPT, Atlas, Comet Browser, they wouldn't be able to actually do that. And then like I was sharing before, I really want to emphasize how you can have multiple different things going on at once with this browser and it's incredibly powerful how you can automate things while you're doing things that you want to do. The next use case I wanted to show you here is how you could have this go through and research things. For example, I want to know the top 10 most popular products on Product Hunt today. So I want this to go through and then provide me with insights, categorize the products appropriately, and compile them into a doc document. So I'm going to come over here. I'm going to ask this to do this. This is then going to spin up this agent, and it is going to begin doing that. Now, while that is going on, what I am going to do is I am going to open up another window here. I want to show off some of the other presets. For example, Example. This one right here, if we come over, this is the TikTok hype preset. What this does is this goes through, this opens up TikTok. This then goes through and looks for a live stream that hits a certain amount of viewers here. This goes into the input field, which is going to be the comment field, and it will go through and post in there multiple different times. And we can see this is really where this is super powerful. This can actually watch the live and give live commentary. So this will go through and post engaging comments that are directly related to the actual live stream because not only can this navigate to TikTok, but this can continually watch the TikTok live right here and go through, which is pretty insane that this is actually able to do this. Now, in addition to that, if we come over here and click on something like Complex Holiday Hall, we could see that this goes through and you can have it fill your cart with perfect puppy gift sets, saving you two hours of manual browsing. For example, we could come over here and have this do our Christmas shopping for us. If we wanted to, we could click over here, we could upload a photo of our Christmas list, and this can go through, and this can actually take action in order to complete it for us. Okay, so now that this is actually done, we could see that it went through and this saved this as a file. Again, this took 10 steps without me having to do anything. While it was doing that, I was actually recording another section of this video for you, which is pretty insane that I am able to do that. So if we come over here to files, we could click over here and we could see what this actually looks like. So we could see this doc right here. I'm going to click. This is going to then open this up. We're going to be able to view this and we can see exactly what that looks like. So Let's open up this document right here and we'll see exactly what all this research looks like. This is what we've got. We can see what the purpose is here. We can see the analysis date. We can see that this is a top 10 analysis report. We have an executive summary right here, and then it goes through each of these different products. It gives us the category, the secondary category, gives us an analysis right here. It gives us the market position, and we could go through all of these different apps. And again, this doesn't have to just be with product hunt. You can have it do this with content. The power of this is that it can do anything. It can watch things. It can interact with things. It can take action because it can execute. And that's what really separates us from other browsers and what makes us the ChatGPT Atlas and the Comet Browser killer.
Now, the last use case I wanna talk about here is gonna be teach mode because this right here is absolutely insane. So basically, teach mode is where you could train OS to copy your routine or learn how to work on specific websites, which will then be stored as a skill and a preset that you can then reuse in the future. If we click over here to next, we could see exactly what this looks like right here. So it shows us how to actually start up teach mode and we could see you literally just click on the teach mode button, you tell it the goal of what you're actually trying to do and that is going to be supplemental learning right here. Now from here, you go through and you actually complete it. So you go through, do what you want, and we could see right here that the operating system is going to observe your actions and track your cursor in real time. You're going to see every single thing recorded in the left-hand panel. You could pause at any time and you could click the stop icon when you're done. And then from there, this goes through and this learns and this actually writes out exactly what it learned and generates a skill so that then you can actually have it recreate or redo the task that you just had it do. And again, you do that literally by just coming over here, clicking on create new skill right here, and we could get this to go through and record. We're just gonna click on teach mode right here. We're gonna give this a task or a goal. We're gonna click on start, the recording starts, and then you could teach us how to automate anything. Now, if you enjoyed this video, I'd strongly suggest you check out this video right here that shows you seven other AI tools that I personally can't live without. I'll see you over there.